A city of Douglas commissioner faces up to 20 years in prison after pleading guilty to wire fraud in federal court. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mackenzie Petrie. According to the plea agreement, that could also be followed by three years of supervised release, a $250,000 fine and forfeiture of assets. City of Douglas commissioner Ken Taiwan Durham pled guilty to submitting a loan application through the payroll protection program also known as PPP loan application that contained false statements about a sole proprietorship. And according to the agreement, he quote, agrees that he is in fact guilty of this offense. It also states the defendant quote, knowingly participated in a scheme to defraud someone by using false or fraudulent pretenses, representations, or promises, end quote. It continues to say in March of 2021, the defendant quote, falsely affirmed among other information that the defendant's business had $96,000 in gross income for tax year 2019, end quote. And lastly, quote, in reliance on the false representations made in the defendant's PPP application, Capital Plus Financial deposited $20,075 into the defendant's bank account, end quote. The mayor of Douglas did confirm that Durham did act in his personal capacity, and none of this has anything to do with the city. The city of Douglas is a we and a us community. One individual does not define the city of Douglas in Coffee County. Uh, he is one of our most beloved commissioners, and he just made a mistake. And we're going to rally around him and do what we need to do to support him to get him through this. According to the plea agreement, the government will recommend that the defendant be sentenced to a term of probation at sentencing. I did reach out to Commissioner Durham and he declined to comment today, but he says he will be reaching back out to me soon for a comment.